We are tonight's entertainment. Hey guys, Randoms here. Welcome. Bjork has released Fosara. I don't know how you really say it. We know we know she's got the little the little tongue roll when she says certain things, but it's here. I love it when my favorite artists come with the new album. I love listening to new music, but when you got a favorite artist and they finally come with the new album or a single, it's amazing. So we have reacted to a tapos already and a vul. And I think we'll do a little tier list in this uh, in this uh, uh, video. I'll admit I did react to Ancestress. It was Ancestress or Ancestors, um, but I didn't upload it because there there really wasn't no reaction. All I have to say is that that music video kind of reminded me of Star Wars for some reason with the clothes and everything. I I don't know, but I didn't get no reaction, so I didn't even upload it. But just know I already have listened to it. So let's 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 look at the track list. So a tapos. With Kasim, I think he's uh, in this one again. Yeah, he is. Okay. Avul. Dude, Avul, I have been, that's been nonstop repeat. It's been really good. Um, Misilia, I have no clue. Sorrowful so Soil. Ancestress, that's the one I listened to. It's almost like a movie. Uh, I didn't get nothing for that one. Fagurt Ir i Fijurdium, I have no clue. Victimhood Allow with Emily Nicholas. Fungal City. Okay, that that's probably gonna be the best one. With Serpent with Feet. Bjork has already, I think, featured with Serpent with Feet before. I think. I think. A Trolla Gaba with Kasim. I know that uh, Bjork's daughter and son are on this uh, this album. Uh, Free Fall for Sara. Okay, so you know some some artists don't do this where you name the album a title and then. You don't have that title as a song in your in your album. So in this case she does, so it's Fosara. And her mother's house. Uh, with Isadora Bidark I'm sorry. I tried, at least I tried. Thirteen tracks. Pretty good, pretty sizable. Um I don't know if there's a bonus track. Let me know in the comments for the Bjork fans. But so a tapos, let's do a little tier list. Here's a little scratch, scratch from scratch tier list right here. But yeah, because no one, I, I'm not going to make it in time. I just want to get this video up as quick as possible. But I'm just going to do a little simple like this. So a tapos, I have a feeling that this whole, this whole album is going to be like horns, really good horns. And a tapos and a vul have been, they've had time to sink in. Same with Ancestress. But that one just didn't, didn't flow with me. But all I have to say is if there's, if there's like a lot of horns in this album, I think I'm gonna really like this album. So you know, for for being the first track and setting it in, I really like the start. Then when it goes like a crazy party house, I think I think the the lyrics are very good too, especially outwards. Like when when that part kicks in and the way the instrumental is, and the the lyrics, it's almost a little serious. It, it, it's very serious when you listen to that part. And then when Bjork does the, she she does that little uh, fist pump in the, in the music video. But yeah, um, so what's his name? Kasim? Kasim, if that's how you say his name. We're going to see him again in track number 10. So I'm assuming it's going to sound something like this. But I'll just tell you straight up. The most interesting one has to be Fungal City. Because I know that... Uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail about how she says uh, it's very mushroom-like, this album. So that's all I'll say. It's really good. The lyrics are good. I'm thinking A tier for now. And like for my tier list, whatever's closest to the letter is the tiebreaker. So if I got two and eight here, uh, you know, there you go. Whoever's like close to the letter is the tiebreaker. Is a little bit better than the the other track. Okay, it doesn't seem like this is like a connection. I, dude, a vul is very good. Dare I almost say S tier? I don't know, but I'll tell you. I think I like a. I, I think I like a vul. Better than a tapos, hands down. I think so. I, before it was a tapos, now it's a vul. It's just so, it's so epic with the horns. Um, there is almost like a hit and miss throughout the, that that song, but it's just like it's so. It sounds so epic for some reason with the horns. But yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. I feel like I already have, but a vul, I like it better. So we we'll move on next to Missilia. I don't know if it's like uh, Ancestress. Not my vibe, not my type. But hopefully it's. We'll see. All right, here we go. This is kind of the sound from the, the website. It's almost like Wii music. All right, Missilia, if that's how you say it. 
that was uh it was creative i was afraid it was going to be a little too long but luckily luckily you stopped it short if it was if it was a, like a full three minute song with just that it would have been kind of weird um that that's like just a creative one and i don't think i'd ever listen to it but it, it was pretty creative but it's, it's almost like dc tier it's d because it's uh, okay it's c because it's creative and it, it, it's definitely unique I really like when, when it goes more of the deeper tones and then it comes back up. Um, but then it's D tier because like, I would probably never listen to that again. I'll give you C for now. I, like, I don't do the minus, but if I did, it's definitely below C, but above D. So uh, you know, copy and paste because I cannot spell it. Missilia, if that's how you say it. So that's C tier for now. Next up, we got Sorrowful Soul. Sorrowful Soul. Oh. This ain't looking good. It, it, why do why do artists do it where you gotta i think bjork's doing it we'll see we're, we're not even halfway there but you, you got an album and you show about one or two songs that ain't the case with gorillas right now but anyway uh and then you know those are some good those are some really good songs then the album comes out and it's like you blew your load you showed the you showed your hand you showed the best songs first like that is like why do the artist it's almost every artist that does it in my opinion but it's looking like bjork showed the best ones first maybe because they had time to grow on me but no i just looking back like those were full-on really good songs i really like those ones but so far sorrowful soul uh very choir like it was nice but i i i never coming back to this i'm sorry i put in d tier I'd better listen to Mycelia better than Sorrowful Soul. But Sorrowful, it's good. It's good. F tier is more like, I hate it. I dislike it. I'll never listen to the song. But, you know, Sorrowful Soul actually fits that. But it's not a hate. It's not a dislike. It had something good about it. And it was the choir. Which I wonder if her uh, daughter or son was on that one. Maybe. I'm not sure. I, I forgot their names. Maybe they're they're actually in a song and they have a verse. But I... Yeah, they they were like I thought they were a backing vocal there. So ancestors, I already listened to this one. There was a video. It's just nothing. I get nothing from that song. Yeah, it's 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 really like a movie. It's almost F tier, but it, it's got some good stuff about it. So is it better than Sorrowful Soul? Soil, sorry. It's almost like they're tied, really. Um, I give it to Sorrowful Soul. Soil. So ancestress is right there. Next up, we got Fagurt. Ear if Jirodrium. I have no clue. I tried. Okay, so she's gonna speak in her language. That was pretty short. Um I wonder if it's gonna successfully connect to the next song, which is Victimhood. So we're gonna see. But for that one, that was like a it's like an interlude. So I would Okay, Bjork's voice is nice, so it's not F tier, but it's definitely the, the probably the, it's going to be the lowest one. I can already tell. I I think it's going to be the lowest one. So let's see if it connects successfully. Uh, maybe I don't think so. More of a darker tone. It's almost dark, very dark. This, this sounds really good. It sounds nice. It's such a dark song right now. It's instrumental. Is it about to drop right now? All right, victimhood. Probably the darkest song. I I have to go back to the lyrics, but a uh, darkest sounding song for sure. Uh, it, it was really nice though. So for victimhood, I definitely place it uh, higher than Missilia. Yeah, for sure, victimhood. Yeah, that was just. I'd say like I I, th I thought the beat was gonna go off for a second, but like a topos, like something like that maybe, but it didn't. Um, you can't trick this. I, I I was a little disappointed when there was no beat drop or anything like that. But the the beginning like the, it was just so dark. That's the only thing I only thing I could say. That beginning to mid, it was really good. Almost thinking B tier if the beat dropped too. But yeah, I'd have to go back to that one, but. For victimhood, C tier. Next up, we got Allow with Emily Nicholas. Oh, this is like Utopia. Okay, Allow. Allow is almost like Utopia, like a cut Utopia song, I would say. 
wow that, that one was actually pretty beautiful but it's not it's no a tapos it's no it's no a vul oh that's tough it's either, it's c tier but it's either victimhood's better or allows better ah oh man that's really tough they're they're really tied but i think i'll pick allow for now just because it reminds me of utopia and i i really like utopia all right next up we got the most anticipated track just by title and that's a uh, fungal city let's see what this sounds like All right, Fosara is not looking too good for me, at least. Um, Serpent with feet. He was pretty beautiful. It reminds me of Mr. Jukes with the vocals a little bit, but I doubt any of you know Mr. Jukes. He's, he's pretty small. So for, for being the most interesting title, the most anticipated maybe, where, where, where is that going on the, on the tier list? Fungal Cities and D tier city. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Avul Tapos, just top dogs, duh. T top dogs, dude. What can I say? What can I say? No one's in B tier so far. I, I hope we get at least one B tier. Next up, we got Trolla Gaba. And, and we only got about, well, with that one's 10, 11, 12, 13, four freaking songs left. Okay, kind of connected. It's like boss music. Pretty good so far. Wow, okay. Trolla Gaba. Wait, that was Trolla Gaba with Kasim? Dang, I thought, I thought, oh, he's got another one. Okay, he's got Fosara. I was, I was like, that was it? I, but I'm glad we see him again. Okay, I liked how, what was it like, Victimhood, if I can remember the title. Um, another dark one. That was really different. Hmm. Okay, ain't no B tier. I, I was expecting lyrics maybe on that one. Maybe if you threw in lyrics and you switched it up, I don't know. It could have been higher. But I think I'm thinking C tier. But is it better than allow? Hmm. No, I don't think so. At least for now. This is what's tough when you listen to an album right off the bat and you do this tier list. Things are bound to change. Things can grow. Yeah, you know, just like the vibe of the song, the mushrooms are growing. So some of these tracks could grow. Like mushrooms. So but for now, you know, that's what sucks. It, like, you got to do it right then and there. All right, we're near the end here. Next up, we got Free Fall. Oh, man. I just want to say, this is just my opinion on, on, this, on this album so far. And I respect all opinions. People know that about me. But it's just like, this album, I thought this album was going to be for me. After hearing a Vool and a Tapos with the horns. Some of these got horns. Some of these got deep, evil-sounding horns. Uh, but then some are just complete miss. Free fall. Uh, free fall. I think it's probably better than Ancestress. All right, we're near the end here. Second to last track. It's the titled one. I'm expecting this to be a, a B, A tier. Just because sometimes when you got a, a title, same as the album, it's usually the big top dog. or it, 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 It's at least big. So we got Fosara on Fosara. And Fosara. So, so, so Sayonara. You never see him. Hopefully you see him again because I think he's a good feature for Bjork. Same with Arca. Arca too, man. Ooh, man. I'm surprised Arca didn't come back again. Or Bjork didn't invite Arca one, once more. They were pretty dang good together. So for the self-titled Fosara... Ah, oh, man, man. She showed the best ones first, man. It's it's looking like it. I don't know if the last one will top it. Who knows? Is it going to be S tier? It also has a chance. It has a chance to be anywhere on the list. Um, I can't do Bjork Dirty with the F tier, though. I can't do it. Fosara. Okay, I definitely put it in C tier. So I put Fosara here. I think Victim Hunt's a bit better. But uh, the ooh, 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 ooh. Like, that's basically what that song was. Uh, I think Vassar is a bit better than that one, but this is what this is what it's looking like, guys. I'm I am disappointed, uh, but it's just me. This is my honest truth. This is this ain't no this ain't nothing fake about this list. I still love Bjork. In the end of the day, it's just it's just how I feel, dude. Avul, I'm gonna go listen to Avul after all this. So we got the last one, her mother's house with Isadora. 
Ah, man. Okay. Briarctrotr Barney. This one pretty this one is a beautiful one. And that's the end of Osara. See you in another four to five years, Bjork. Well who knows, we'll see. But let's be honest, kind of it's gonna take like another four or five years if we see. Yeah, I don't think this is the last album. It is definitely not feel like the last album. So we'll definitely see Bjork again. But uh all I gotta say is the merch. There's no merch. I kinda of was expecting to get some merch, but it's only C D and Vinyl I see right now. A top or no, not, not a topos. Utopia had a freaking bird call set and I think t shirt too for some of the singles. Or, but I think this isn't the end question mark because uh, I'm not sure with Bjork, but with Utopia, I noticed there were a couple singles I think that were the, the same vibe of Utopia, but they came a bit after. So maybe there'll be some bonus stuff. Who knows? We'll see. But let's talk about this track Her Mother's House. It was a beautiful one. It was definitely beautiful. It's pretty high. No, well, it's C tier. Yeah, Allow is beautiful. It's, I think Allow was a bit better, but her mother's house was beautiful as well with the vocals. Better than Trola Gaba, Victimhood, and Fosara, and Celia. So that's my tier list. I ain't gonna lie. I almost kind of want to put some in F tier because I, I probably never listened to them. You never see me come back to them. But I can't do Bjork Dirty. And there were some at least good parts about some of the songs that are in D tier. None in B tier. This is a really wacky tier list. Yeah, so it was like average. There was nothing that was in B tier. Nothing in S, but two in A. Like It's kind of wacky. Or what's even more wacky with some tier lists, like you'll have something in S tier, and then you have nothing in A or B tier. I don't know. I just think that's kind of like the spacing is really wacky. So the best song on the album, without a doubt, is Avul. I'd have to say Avul. Did the freaking oh man, the lyrics, the... The way she sounds at the start and the freaking music video helps. She's got the, the mind. I know she's got the reality stone. I've placed the glass egg above us floating or something. I just, oh, man. Avul is definitely the best track on the album. Hell, maybe if I listen to it more, I'll put an S tier. But uh, for now, it's definitely the top dog. Best song on the album. Bjork, you showed, you showed your hand. You showed your hand too early, I think. You probably could have showed one of these songs. Maybe do a tapos and then victimhood or her mother's house or allow, but then don't show a vul. But she showed her hand. It is what it is. Uh, she showed. I don't know what it is with the with artists, man. They show the best songs first, then you get the album. And it's like you, you showed the best ones. Why, why do you show the best ones first? And the rest just sink. Maybe maybe because they, you know, you haven't heard from Bjork in a while. You see these new singles. Holy cow, these are really good. It sets the bar high. Then when you get the, the album, ah, uh, it, it set the bar too high, I think. But that's it. That was for Sara. Now we'll see if she comes with any bonus stuff, another single. I'll, I'll probably do some tier lists for uh, her other albums if you're curious. So if you like Bjork, I'll be like, consider subscribing. We mainly do Gorillaz, though. Check out Gorillaz. Even if you don't know Gorillaz, I think if you're a Bjork fan, you appreciate music and you appreciate listening to new music and you're welcoming so that's my that's my taste too i'm welcoming to bjork gorillas and new artists who i probably never heard of which uh bound in time to experience some new people but that was it that was for sarah this is my tier list uh i hope you guys like comment subscribe tell me what you think what's your favorite song on the album what's your tier list look like do you have an s tier do you have an f tier let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know anything related to this album. But I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the future videos to come. Peace out.